Hello everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go take a walk and see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Hopefully this will be a treat. Look here, this is Duclaw's X1, which is a bourbon barrel aged imperial chocolate rye porter. Don't that sound delicious? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. This is 8% alcohol by volume, and they're out of Abingdon, Maryland, guys. I like most of the stuff that I get from them. Uh, I don't think this has a date on it. It's a brewed once beer, so I tried to... <laughs> actually made the effort to go to their website to find out a little more information there about it and I found out their website don't have jack shit about it on there. Uh, all of their experimental beers and their brewed once beers are not even listed on there. They don't have any kind of reference or nothing about it. Their uh, seasonal beers and what's on tap that their little local things is listed there. But none of these brewed once beers are even listed there. So I think that's a bunch of horse hockey. They need to have at least a reference so you can get some information of when it was brewed. So I tried to find out what that was because I didn't see a date on the on the bottle and there's no information. So thumbs down with their website. It's a bunch of horse hockey. It sucked. So uh, if you're looking for information on the, ones, the brewed once beers, don't go there. Base your uh, opinion on what people tell you and what rate beer and beer advocates got because... Their site don't tell you anything other than their seasonal beers, and this is not one of them. So, on with this show. Uh, like I said, this is American Porter. It says nine percent here on their on the website. It says eight percent on here. So, I believe I believe this instead of that. So, then there's just all kind of misinformation and no information about this beer. So, uh, availability says brewed once, and that's what I had heard and seen. So. Food prank of this cuisine is barbecued cheeses, buttery brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss. And it says in general, as in chocolates, what they do on these porters and stuff, guys, and some stouts. Uh, the meat is beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat. Glass bars, a pint, Becker Stein, a mug, a Sidell, oversized wine glass, a, a tulip glass, I got the double glass. And the beer, it says not recommended for extended selling unless AB exceeds the range. 8% is going to keep for a little while. I wouldn't think that would go bad. Uh, I'd say you get a good 5 or 6, maybe even 10 years on this seller correctly. Just my opinion, guys. So, uh, don't think there's anything else we need to talk about about this beer. Uh, a velvety imperial porter aged in bourbon barrel to add notes of vanilla, caramelized sugar, and charred oak. It is bittersweet, balance of rye malt and real chocolate. Off with that top and start experimenting so i wish they would experiment and put a date on the bottle how about that guy that's the experiment they need to try next what do you think agree with me there get up on that soapbox with me now <laughs> there's some hard-headed boy that can't put a date on a bottle like this and you're going to, have to pay 10 12 dollars for it and they can't put a date on it i'd slap the taste out of their mouth what do you think about that make me walk back and slap your mama what All right, guys, there's the label so you can look at it. Wow, pours a very gorgeous beer. Very dark, very black, nice off. Uh, it's almost brown. It's, it is brown. It is a brown, creamy head there. Not a very big one with that super aggressive pour. It's dissipating quickly, too. So there is no light. It is pitch black, guys. None whatsoever. Not even around the outsides of it. So it is dark, dark, dark. Let's get a nose on it. Bourbon. Vanilla. Getting just a little bit of coffee and some bittersweet chocolate there on the nose. There may be some dark fruit in there, but the bourbon is just overpowering it right now since it's just fresh out of the bottle. I don't even know what year this was done. Like I said, I don't, I don't see a date on it. Once we get down to the bottom, I'll examine it. And that digitized writing on the bottom uh, is just when the bottle was done. It has nothing to do when the beer was put on it. 
uh, they need to put it on the label. They can, them guys are big enough where they can afford that kind of stuff now. So people are going to start going away from their beers unless they know exactly when they were put on the shelf. Joe Blow walks down the yeah, oh, he doesn't know and he just sees the label. Yeah, he might take that chance. He might not. So time will tell, guys. Cheers. I think the ones that, that date their, their beers will survive and the ones that refuse to may not. Very nice bourbon vanilla taste on that initially. Kind of thin though. Kind of on the thin side. But very nice bourbon, vanilla, slight bit of chocolate and coffee. Not overpowering though, but on the lighter side, I'm surprised. Not knowing exactly when it was put in the bottle, it may have metaled out if it was done last year or the year before. I don't know exactly when it was done. Maybe I'll have to Google that and see if I can get some information on when it was done. I'll ask that girl in the Google web page there. So. Guys, it's, it's pretty tasty, but uh, Put on the tent side, but it's uh, very pleasant. I am enjoying it. Uh, we'll let it warm up, see what we end up with here. But I'm a sucker for these ones that have their age in the bourbon barrels. I just love, I don't drink a lot of bourbon now. And I guess that's where I get my bourbon fix when I drink these and stuff. So I like it. Stick around. We'll be back see what this one gets on the final chug. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left. I've been sipping on this one for, I know, a good 45 minutes. It has matured and warmed up nicely. I am getting the alcohol. The alcohol is there. It's not hidden as well as I was hoping it was going to be for an 8% beer. So, But it has a lot of vanilla, a lot of chocolate and coffee and coconut. I mean, it's, it's very delicious, guys. It's a... Uh, if I could get this all the time and be a reasonable price, it would be in the fridge all the time. I'm just not a big fan of the bombers. I just don't like drinking that much at one time. Of course, I can, I, like I did this and I can share with her, but I like getting the smaller bottles where I can do the reviews and not have a, a buying a, a lot at one time. But this is pretty tasty. It's worth cellaring if you can get this. Uh, you order to pick it up, give it a try, final chug. Yeah, it's pretty damn awesome. Very tasty, guys. Very, very tasty. When it was cold, it tasted a little on the thin side, but now that it's warmed up, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's awesome. Guys, I told you I was going to look for a date on the bottle. There are none. Uh, they're, they're just not dating their stuff yet. And that's, that's the biggest, that's probably the biggest complaint I have about Duclaw. About not dating or stuff. So it's not going to go bad. It's eight percent, but still, would like to have that information, guys. And uh, to me, I, and I, that's my soapbox to stand on, and I'm going to stand on it again tonight. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is a nine out of ten beer, but because it don't have the date, and I'm probably unfair, and I get criticized because I do this kind of grading. But and to get their attention, you know, like little old me's got any influence. It's a 9 out of 10, but it's only going to get to 8 tonight because they don't have a date. So, uh, that's what I'm going to stand on. Uh, Beer Advocate has 91, which is in their exceptional range. And uh, it's not 100, but it's 91. So, uh, I, I kind of agree with that. It's, it's, it's that good. We need a damn date, guys. It's not going to go bad, but tell us what year it is. If you ain't got time to write that, tell us what year it is. Or put it on your website where we can go to your website and see what year it is. And my gosh, you know, website sucked. I thought it sucked. It really did. Alright, uh, we're going to go to Rate Beer. It says 98 overall and 81 in the style. So somebody wasn't particularly impressed with the style being 81 number there. So I don't know. I thought the style was pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, I liked it. Uh, it was good. I think it was better than 81. 98 uh, <laughs> is not quite, uh, I guess that's, I'm, I was close to that, but it's not quite to the 100 scale. It's an A beer, but it's just barely getting in there without a date. So give us a year. Put it on a damn bottle, boys. Y'all got the money. Don't be messing around. Hit that like button. Let's see what's in the fridge tomorrow. If you get lucky, you might have one with a date.
We'll see you then.